This season on American Horror Story, a story of true terror is being told as Evan Peters' character Kai leads a vicious and violent cult, hoping to take over the world and embed himself right at the center, with ultimate power. Whilst we have seen just the beginnings of that cult so far, it's something that's now growing at a rapid pace and even turning in on its own. Ryan Murphy has made some big decisions about this week's cult episode following the deadly mass shooting in Las Vegas this past week. It was claimed that there was a mass shooting scene in the next episode of Oz Cult, with suggestions the episode could be delayed so as not to offend anybody watching. Now, showrunner and creator Ryan Murphy has opened up about the decision he and the rest of the crew working on the show have taken in light of the event. Speaking during a New Yorker festival discussion via THR, Murphy explained I just made the decision that I'm going to have all of that violence be shown for the most part off camera. He went on to add that he now feels a responsibility to those who have fallen victim of gun violence. Nobody ever talks about victims' rights, he continued. That's sort of a weird emotional discussion that's never bridged. But I felt great sympathy for people who were affected, certainly and family members and loved ones and people who are upset about the way the world is. The showrunner concluded by saying that the original scene was graphically violent to make an obvious anti-gun warning about society, but due to the recent events in Las Vegas, that version of the scene will no longer make it to air. Exactly what goes down in the fall episode remains to be seen, but it's fair to say that the series has seen some sort of reinvention this time round. Rather than having supernatural elements, everything that we've seen so far ISNT out of the realm of possibility, which some say has made it the scariest season to date. More Kathy Bates not in a part of American Horror Story Cult American Horror Story Cult continues Tuesdays on FX in the US and Fridays on Fox in the UK.